Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to the Dynamic Engineers. I am Shah Faisal today with one another topic for you people that is the width volume to dry volume of concrete. So if you are working as a site engineer or somewhere in planning section of any construction company, every day you will be dealing with the weight of concrete, the different components of concrete. Okay, so this is an important topic for all those people who are working as a site engineer or working in planning section who are as a quantity surveyor. Okay, here the topic is how will we convert concrete wet wet to concrete dry wet or concrete wet volume to concrete dry volume. Why this thing is important? The reason is Whenever we talk about any section or any member of a building or anything or any RCC member, we talk about its weight volume. Like I do need one meter cube of concrete for any beam. This means that one meter cube of weight volume of concrete is required for that beam. The dry weight of the concrete required for that material for that section will be different. So how will we calculate it? Let's go to the board and let me calculate it for you. The number first thing is the dry weight of concrete. That how will we convert the wet volume of concrete to dry volume, okay? So the factor that we use in concrete is 0.54, which means 54%, okay? What does this mean? This means that the wet volume of concrete will be a 54% less. So what does this mean? This means that if you ever want to convert the wet volume of concrete into dry volume, you will have to add a factor of 0.54. Like if I need one meter cube of wet volume of concrete, okay? One meter cube of wet volume of concrete then this means that the dry weight of concrete will be 1 plus 0.54 which is equal to 1.54 and this means that the dry volume will be 54 percent more than the wet volume okay this this 0.54 means the 54 percent increase in volume okay now in plaster okay let me calculate the different quantities of cement sand and aggregate for you people and a concrete having a ratio of one ratio two ratio four okay I will calculate it but first I will talk about the plaster okay that what is the different ratio that what is the difference between the wet volume and dry volume of plaster. When we talk about plaster, here the plaster weight of dry material will be increased by upper 33%. Okay. Normally people get confused between the concrete percentage and the plaster percentage. So you do need to keep this thing in your mind that 54% is for concrete and 33% is for plaster which means that one meter cube of plaster in wet condition will be having a volume of 1 plus 33% in dry condition okay which means 1 plus 33 by 100 1 plus 0.33 Okay, so one meter cube, like I, I just talk about this one because I'm taking one as a standard. So here, one meter cube of concrete, uh, of plaster will be having a dry weight, a dry volume of 1.33 meter cube in dry condition. Okay, this is a very general rule and this is a very simple rule that you do need to keep in your mind and you never is supposed to be confused among this 54% and this 33%. 54% is for concrete and 33% is for plaster. Okay, so this is the conversion unit and this is how you will convert the wet 
volume and to dry volume like i need 2 meter cube of concrete for a beam structure okay so what will be the dry volume of that concrete 2 meter cube okay 2 meter cube okay so 2 meter cube means that 54 percent of 2 meter cube will be added with this concrete 2 meter cube will be the width volume plus 54 percent of 54 percent of 2 meter cube that will be the dry volume so 54 percent of 2 meter cube will be let me calculate it 54% of 2 meter cube means 0 0.54 multiplied by 2 which is equal to 1.08 okay so 2 meter cube of weight volume of concrete means we will be needing 2 plus 1.08 which is equal to 3.08 meter cube so 2 meter cube of concrete in wet condition will be having a volume of 3.08 meter cube in dry condition this is how you will calculate the dry weight of concrete okay this is a very simple definition and this is a very simple conversion that you do need to keep in your mind in upcoming video i will be talking about how will we convert this volume into different components like if you talk about one ratio two ratio four how will we calculate the different components of this concrete okay so see you in another video subscribe to our channel so that you may see all those videos that we are going to work for you